Hello, everyone. We're back. Welcome to vlog number six of this awesome series. I know some of you guys are asking why am I wearing the glasses? Well, it's because the sun is right in front of me. I, I re rearranged my room and this is what we came up with. It's a Tuesday. I just got back, got some pretty sweet drone footage to use on the video. And currently right now my drone is charging. So, but my plan today uh, for this vlog is to essentially show you guys around the town of Brookings as a whole. You guys see so much of South Dakota State University. Every single vlog, you guys know things about South Dakota State University, every single vlog that you guys never actually get to see where it sits. Well, I'm here to tell you that it sits in a beautiful little town called Brookings, South Dakota. And it's one of the greatest towns in South Dakota. We have multiple parks scattered all across the city. And you know, you can, you can do a lot of outdoor activities, especially at Dakota Nature Park, which we'll go to today and we'll check it out. But here's the thing guys, it's Tuesday and uh, it seems like my batteries on this thing need to charge or my battery for this uh, drone needs to charge. And um, actually I'll show you guys. So my drone batteries are charging. Um, this is actually, these two are good, I can use them. Um, I'm just waiting on this one. And I think what I'm gonna do is wait till tomorrow because this needs to charge too. Um, it's still, it's still just trying. So um, my, and this is the most important part to remote. So um, there's a bugger, there's a little guy. Um, she's all good, but yeah, this this needs to charge more than anything. So we gotta make sure that she's charged up, make sure that this battery's charged up. And um, yeah, that'll be that. Tomorrow, we're gonna hit up the town. Enjoy the town of Brookings. Uh, and yeah, just have a good time. So, well, you guys are watching the video, so I can just do one of these. <laughs> That squeaking is annoying. All right, so right now we're on our way to Dakota Nature Park. One of the most beautiful places around Brookings. Got a lot of bike trails, lakes, and I think you can like rent out a kayak or so. So it's pretty sweet. I'm actually very excited to show you guys around there. We'll see. Welcome to Dakota Nature Park. It's just a beautiful area where you can just sit down, enjoy nature, and just be out here, you know? Okay, so Dakota Nature Park, it's, like I said earlier, bike trails, a lot of cool areas just under the trees. You can just go out here and just basically just go about, walk, relax. And also I think they're renting out kayaks over, over by the main office, I'm not really sure. You can rent out a kayak or paddleboard, do all that fun stuff. As you guys can see, they do have a lot of ponds all around, you know, water areas where you guys can actually go and enjoy yourself. There's a bike track around that you guys can actually go ahead and, and check out. And it's really cool. And I'm just sitting around and checking this out. And, you know, it's just relaxing being here, you know. If you're coming to South Dakota State in Brookings, South Dakota, I mean, it's just a beautiful town. We have a lot, a lot of things to offer. Honestly, I mean, Dakota Nature Park is one of the coolest things. And that's why I brought you guys here. It's, it's a cool part of Brookings. I'm really curious. They do have a bike track here. And I really am curious as to what this bike, this bike track looks like, because I've seen people on it. Every time I go out for a run out here, I do, I do see people on it. So I don't know. Let's go check it out and see, see what it is. Here we are. Single track, 
jump park. All right. Clothes and wet or icy. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, you're joking, right? Uh, so it's unfortunately closed. Apparently it's too muddy, but now wish it wasn't closed because I'd go out here and maybe try to tear it up a little. Okay, since we can't really go into the track, I kind of want to see it still. I want to show you guys it. So uh, here's a view of that park. so that pretty much sums up dakota nature park i flew my drone around to just kind of check out the area besides it's a lot better to see from above and not a lot of people get to see dakota nature park from above so i guess uh at this point i mean other than enjoying this awesome place by the way i saw somebody in that footage i don't know if you guys I'll, I'll rewind it back and you guys can kind of see it but like as the drone was following uh and, and i was showing you guys the the track I actually saw somebody. It was it was kind of weird. I, I was going at us and I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, somebody's in there. Thing is, I don't want to get in trouble. As much as I want to film some cool stuff of me doing cool jumps in my bike, which by the way, I will never do <laughs> actually. Um, yeah, I, we're, we're just gonna have to go back and maybe come back later. I mean, you know, actually, and actually get somebody that can do jumps and stuff on their bikes. All right, we got about five miles back to downtown. So, and actually got to meet somebody downtown here, so. Uh, don't go away. Stay tuned. Better. Yeah, so we're back now from our bike ride all the way out to the nature park. Brookings has a lot of parks, it's not just the Dakota Nature Park. There's there's multiple city parks all around the, the city of Brookings. As much as I really want you guys to see all the parks in Brookings, it's kind of, re you know, redundant to do that. But, you know, we got we got other days planned and, and I think actually I'm about to meet somebody here. I'm actually supposed to meet somebody in a very, very popular place here in downtown Brookings. And I'm excited for this, you guys are gonna love this. We're gonna go somewhere very popular to a lot of alumni. A lot of people always talk to it, especially before I even like came to Brookings. This was a place that people talked about. So no, not the dairy bar, cause we already ate our ice cream, but um, well, you guys will see. What's up, buddy? Look who it is. The chicken strip on the, top, on the hood of his car. What? Yeah. What happened? Chicken strip. Oh, God. I was about to... Well, look at that. Did you do that? No, I just came here for my haircut, man. Can you tell? Oh, he, he wants me to tell him that he's beautiful. That's what he wants me to tell. You guys know Cadet Peterson, by the way. So. All right, I guess I guess uh, Peterson's going to come with us. Surprise. All right, ladies and gents. We're here at, a, at the place that I told you guys about. Here, I'm going to flip it. Or Nick's Burgers. Waiting on somebody else too. Just... You ready to eat some burgers? Yes. Okay, we should. There he is. You ready to go get some burgers? I got. What'd you get? Got a double hamburger with cheese, chips, oh. and water. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll be right back with all your guys' totals. Perfect. Yeah. What'd you get? Four hamburgers and a malt. Where's the fair for? Oh, I don't yeah, remember. Gosh. That's good. I like that. Your malt. I don't know. Did you put like? Like a malt. I have one burger and then one of these, or a bunch of these. I, I wish I should have got more, but whatever, it's fine. All right, how does it taste, man? It tastes like a good burger. 
What would you have in it? Oh, do you didn't even have anything in it. Just cheese. Just cheese and a burger. Yeah. Easy, yeah. guys. All right, how are, how are the burgers so far? A1, man. A1? Just just burger and cheese, huh? Yeah. Mm, let's see it. Let's see it. Hey, Bob. See you guys later. Thanks for eating burgers with me. Appreciate it. See ya. That was some really good burgers, and unfortunately, as much as I wanted to say, I had to cut it short because I actually am headed to a different town. I'm headed to Fargo today. I know that this was a Brickings vlog, and that's what it is meant to be. But guys, this is a this sweet opportunity that we get to get uh, that I get to get. Uh, we're flying the uh, twin engine aircraft all the way to North Dakota today just to get some flight training in for my purposes. So I think I'm gonna bring you guys along with. So let's have fun. All right, guys, we are currently at the Brookings Municipal Airport. We are flying to Fargo today, off, and we're taking the twin engine aircraft. So it'll be a fun time. We're taking that one. All right, guys, so we're out here right now, about to pre-fly this airplane. First things first is we gotta disinfect it, get it ready to go, and pre-flight it as well. So let's go do that. All right, guys, we're disinfected and done pre-flighting. So let's go ahead and uh, go for a flight. Alright everybody, welcome on board the Piper Seminole PA44. This is a voiceover as you guys can see. It's going to be different from what you guys are seeing on the screen. The cockpit's pretty loud and you really can't hear what we're saying unless I have a device that records it on the headset. But I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend and flight instructor, Ethan Murtha. He's been with me throughout commercial training, great guy to fly with, and he's awesome to be with in the cockpit. So looking at more, I didn't really want to record more videos because it's kind of redundant. South Dakota's pretty flat, so you guys would be just seeing flatlands all over. But here's an idea of what the cockpit sounds like. It's kind of loud, so as you guys can kind of tell, I'll raise my voice here a little bit. It's loud. That's why I'm doing this voiceover. And uh, I'll go ahead and mute it here in a second. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at what I see in the cockpit. So looking at it here, uh, the airspeed indicator tells how fast we're going. That's also to the left of the Aspen there, the attitude indicator and heading reference system. Um, and then it tells you how fast you're going. And that's the indicated airspeeds, how fast it says you're going. Um, there's multiple air speeds out there, but we're not going to get into that. But going up more, that whole TV screen, that's like the Aspen, it's the attitude heading and reference system. It tells you how far you're pitched up. And it also has your compass right there in the bottom. Uh, moving on, didn't really talk about the balsa coordinator there, but you guys don't really need to know that. It's our altitude there to the right of it. And then that's our VSI, um, which is a vertical speed. Uh, so how fast you, got, you are going up or down. And then the two things that I just pointed out there is basically the power system. So like your RPM and your manifold pressure, that's controlled by those levers right down there. The black controls the manifold pressure, and then the blue controls your RPM. This is a twin engine aircraft, as so you can notice, there's two of everything. Uh, moving on, there's our GPS, our transponder, our radios, and our lights, a lot of like electronical stuff. And then that red bar right there, that's our mixture, that me I'm sorry, red lever, that's what I meant to say. Uh, right underneath there is the uh, carb heat, and underneath there are the cowl flaps. And I try to show it to you guys here, but I really can't see it. Like where my feet are should be the rudder pedals. So that's essentially what I see. So you guys can see the yoke there too, but that's what I see in an aircraft. So hope you enjoyed. All right, 
We are done flying the twin, landed in Fargo, did a touch and go, and now we're back. So I'm gonna go check out the plane and I'll see you guys in the car. Okay guys, so there's that. And um, essentially, um, as much as I really wanted to get every little thing that uh, we did, we really can't do that. That's against all the rules. And for safety purposes, obviously, we really shouldn't be on our phones while we're landing and taxiing. So a lot of the videos that you guys saw was on cruise. Um, and as soon as uh, I try to get as much as I can. Say hi, Mirtha. <laughs> Follow us on SDSU Army ROTC. You'll see yourself. <laughs> It'll be good. See you, man. But anyway, you guys, uh, but that's, that's a really cool treat that you guys actually got to see. Uh, a little bit into my life and a little bit into the aviation industry and I know a lot of it's voiceover But I mean at least try to explain it to you guys and what it looks like so that you guys are able to at least see it and feel it as if you were there but guys um, One more thing before I leave uh, This week's giveaway I promise you guys and I didn't even do a vlog last week and I, I said I was gonna actually do something but guys this giveaway um, You know what? I don't even have the stuff right now because it's actually in my office. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Office Obi and let him take it away. So Office Obi, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Hi guys, it's me again. Um, just wanted to finally tell you guys this week's giveaway. I know two weeks ago I promised that I was gonna give you guys more stuff for this giveaway. Well, I came with that promise. We're actually re-giving away the uh, black water bottle that we uh, gave in our first week. We're actually gonna do another one of these. We have another one. And if you just go ahead and like and subscribe to the video, you're able to get one of these water bottles. In addition to that, you're also gonna get a coffee cup. Here, take it out of the box here. We'll get a coffee cup. So start strong, army strong. You'll get that too. And we're not done yet. We're giving away something else. For this vlog, we're giving away golf balls that has the leadership and excellence uh, logo in there. You guys can kind of hear, I'll just open it, show you guys. If you guys are into golf, this is something that's really cool to have, but you guys will see the Army ROTC logo right there. All right, in addition to that, you'll have some tees right underneath there. You have some golf tees. So um, if you're really into golf, this is, a, this is gonna be a great thing to have. So, but anyway, guys, all you gotta do is like and subscribe to the video. I hope you enjoy this week. I was about to do a Brookings vlog, or I was gonna do a Brookings all around tour, but it's a small town. I showed you guys the main things that we have around here, the downtown areas and Dakota Nature Park. And you guys got a little bit of a treat. You actually got to be in the airplane with us. So, uh, but anyway, I just wanna wish you guys all a great weekend. Hope you have an awesome weekend and hope you have a great week. And we'll see you guys again next week. So thanks very much. Make sure you like and subscribe.